Welcome to I Am Geek, the show for the geek in all of us, and this is episode 13. I am Ryan Street, and again, I'm here with my good buddy, Chris Catron, and my Hello. brother, Chris Street. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Episode 13. <laughs> or Do you episode feel 13. lucky? Do you feel unlucky? I mean, we're teenagers uh, now. That's, that's uh, exciting. about it's medium. true. We're teenagers. Medium. So we have to talk like this the whole no, episode. It's time for change. Hi, hey guys. I just don't know what we're we doing today. <laughs> oh, it hit me. It hit me hard. I've got this <laughs> pimple like right here. <laughs> have you seen Tina? Oh, my goodness. She's looking pretty good now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I got a new fidget spinner. And, uh... <laughs> fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> those things are crazy those things are like dangerous there's like pe- kids getting sent to the hospital because they like swallow parts of it and then oh, there was one yeah. that was spinning it and it got caught in his lip and it like cut a big chunk out of his lip but anyway yeah there was one that exploded too i don't i don't know how what? It but i just saw that it exploded somehow <laughs> it was moving so fast <laughs> that it just yeah, it ca- <laughs> disintegrated into pieces they probably had a they probably had a like a firecracker in it or something, you know. Yeah. Which, and then they kind of blades on. Them. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I think episode thirteen is lucky for us because for the first, well, not the first time, but it's happened. I posted earlier. <laughs> hey, we're getting ready to to uh, record episode thirteen. You got any questions for us? And what happened? Two questions popped up: one on Facebook, Ooh. one on Twitter. So there's wow. actually people on Twitter that look at our stuff. Yay! Ooh, Yay! So excited. There's people out there. Yeah, it was uh, somebody that I didn't know, and I was like, "Oh, it's like somebody that we don't even know." And then my brother Chris was like, "Oh no, I know them." And I'm like, "Oh, that's still yeah, cool." I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I actually know somebody. Uh, <laughs> it's very rare. It's really rare. So it's it that's I mean it's exciting for me that someone actually actually knows someone. So that's good. Nice. So yeah. I thought we would start with <laughs> questions tonight instead of end because we have actual questions to answer. The fans want to know. Uh-huh. We've got to put it out there first thing, not keep them in suspense because it is episode thirteen. So who knows what could happen? The yes. world could explode. Just mm-hmm. because of our episode thirteen, uh, so <laughs> so the first question from Twitter. Probably, yeah. This is from Chris, one of your friends. Do you want to give him a shout out? Uh, yes, uh, shout out to uh, Bryn Wolf. Uh, her her Twitter at Bryn Drug. Or, uh, <laughs> spell that spell that out. B R W G. It's it's B R Y N D R W G. Sorry. We're all yeah. talking at the same time. Brenda. Brenda. That's how you, that's, she's my friend. That's how you say it. Oh, um, okay. uh, she's, she's a friend of my wife's. I uh, grew up with her, and she's a friend of mine now. And uh, yeah, she posts a question. And, and Brenda posts uh, You get to take a being John Malkovich style ride in a superhero's brain of your choice. Who do you pick? So first Ooh. off, let's let's tell just to refresh our memories. Uh, Being John Malkovich was a movie. Um, it was a movie, and it had John Malkovich <laughs> in it as himself. Uh, as himself, yes. Um, and um, so yeah, th- basically this. Uh, I think he was like a. I think he played like a puppeteer or something. Um, uh, it's uh, he he takes this job. And he finds this doorway behind this like cabinet or something, I think. And the doorway leads into John Malkovich's brain. And him and his uh, girlfriend just start going in there. And basically, once you go in there, you kind of inhabit John Malkovich and you kind of see what he's seeing and see what he's doing and everything and feel what he's feeling type thing. Um, eventually, at the end, uh, I think the main character is able to control him, which freaks John Malkovich out for the most part, though, just kind of viewing their life. Uh, inside of them so it's based on a true story yeah. is what you're saying based on a true story yeah <laughs> it's a it's a documentary really yeah it's it's oh. you all remember inner inner space yeah yes inner it's, space yeah yeah so that was the original it's, it's like the, it's the prequel or the yeah the original take on in and out um the disney pixar movie 
or inside out. Inside, inside out. out. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's, yeah. It's spawned and also, out. and also, <laughs> um, uh, in Men in Black, there's that little alien guy that's inside that old man that uh, that dies, or whatever. So. Yeah. <laughs> Happens there. Too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, so yeah. So there we go. So the question is. <laughs> yeah. You take a you get to take a B and John Malkovich style ride in a superhero's brain of your choice. Who do you pick? Who wants to start? Who's already got theirs lined up? I think Chris already has his lined up. He's ready to go. I, I have I have my pick. I have my pick. Uh, my pick. Uh, it could end horribly because you never know with this guy's life. Uh, my pick was Spider Man. Oh, uh, did you take because, Cajuns? because no, it's okay. No. Uh, <laughs> I picked a different uh, one anyway. I, so I changed it. I picked I picked Spider Man because sorry. Uh, I picked Spider Man because basically it's it's like being in a roller coaster. Uh, <laughs> when he's swinging around and everything, it's like flying, but it's more of a roller coaster type thing where you're just swinging, flipping like all through the city. But you never know when your loved one's going to die in front of you, so you're kind of like. <laughs> It's an emotional you're not sure. roller coaster too. It's an emotional, <laughs> yeah, emotional roller coaster too. I uh, mean, your your aunt, your loved one, your your lover, they can all die in front of you in no time. You don't know, but you get to swing around the city and that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Katrin, who who do you pick? Who do you pick? Okay, so I, I at first was going to pick uh, Spider Man. We had discussed Spider Man for something different, and uh, I was like, no, I, I think I'm going to go different because I. I originally thought this one would be a bad one to choose, but then I thought it might be pretty interesting. And I actually thought you all might pick this one, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, Incredible Hulk. Um, <laughs> oh. I think it, that I thought that would be terrible because the guy is so you know, um, uh, what was the word? Um, uh, whatever I'm trying to say, Smart. I can't think of it. But he, he you know, it's, it's it's a struggle. It, yeah, it's a struggle in his mind to try to keep that under control. But at the same time, that could it's kind of a similar thing. It's a, it's a emotional roller coaster, right? But but just to be able to run through and just smash through anything, you know, my <laughs> um, Chris, it, yeah, Chris is a holic. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, sometimes I get that way, but you know, um, I keep it under check. Catron smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that's that's who I think. So let's see. So Chris wants to uh, be in the mind of a, a teenager that's going mm-hmm. through all his problems. Um, yes. Emotional roller coaster. Catron wants mm. to uh, smash things inside the Hulk. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So you ready for mine? I've got some. I've got sure. some reasoning. Behind this person <laughs> that I picked. What time is it? <laughs> uh, Sorry, show's coming in. Yeah, my, yeah, again, mine could end very badly, or it could be really fun, or it could be a mix of both. Um, uh, I chose Deadpool. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I chose Deadpool because, I mean, uh, he's, like the, he's like the anti-hero, sort of. <laughs> But he's still a hero. Yeah. But it's like yeah, you know, you. everybody sort of like the thing with this with the smashing, like Hulk smashing. Sort of like he sort of does what everybody deep down is like. You know, I just wish I could just do that sometime yeah. and just like <laughs> just like you know, just do whatever I want to. But he also, you know, he talks to the camera a lot, talks to stuff. So so maybe he's not talking to the camera. Maybe there's already somebody in his head, and he's just talking to the person in his head. Uh, so you just have, you know, you'd be in there and he'd be he's talking talking. to you. So, and you know, actually, actually in the, in the comics, uh, there actually was someone stuck in his head for a while. Well, there you go. Like super, like the super villain, the super villain that had merged with them some somehow. Uh, and he was like, you'd see his little yellow thought bubbles and that was the other character talking to him. So you wouldn't be alone in there. There, so a friend in there, an evil friend, yeah. a friend. I don't know. I, I think it would be interesting a day in the life of Deadpool, be in his head, mm-hmm. and just see the madness unfold and the craziness unfold. And then you have the jokes that he tells, so you'd just be laughing the whole time, probably. So I think it would be uh, be interesting. Gotcha. So 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 Catron's going with the mass destruction where he's destroying everything around him. You're going mass murder. <laughs> Or you're killing. Uh, 
Uh, for a good cause. And I'm going around <laughs> saving people watching my loved ones die. So I, at least I did some work. Yeah, yeah. So that tells you a lot about <laughs> our, uh, <laughs> our inner selves, yeah. I guess. It probably does. Yeah, yeah somebody's going <laughs> to yeah. analyze it. <laughs> Way too We're much. We're going to be arrested. We're gonna be it's, arrested. Um, that's what it is. Super happen. light. When we record I could, these things, I could just so. see sitting like on in like a lazy boy recliner in Deadpool's head, and him like making jokes like, "Oh, you wore the brown pants today," and you'd just be like, ha, 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 "Deadpool, you're so funny." And it would just be, you know, it would be sort of funny. <laughs> and then you could control him later, like a puppet, and just you know, it would be. Uh, mm-hmm. be some, yeah, he doesn't die. So he doesn't die. Good. Yeah, so he just keeps going and. I think that was a good, that was a decent choice. Uh, tell us if you agree or if you have other ones. Now, let's, I thought I would add to the question and then make a two-parter yeah. and say, who would you not want to be in their heads? Like, what superhero you're like, I don't want to be in their heads, um, no matter what. So who's got, anybody got one of those? Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, I got one. I can, I can start again if you want. We can just go around. Okay, and... go ahead. <laughs> um so I, I'm going a little off, a little off here. Um, going uh, the movie Mystery Men. Uh, <laughs> that is Vince, off. Vince Stiller, <laughs> you know, it's going off. It's going off. I mean, there there were comic books, there's superheroes and everything. Uh, I'm going with uh, with the spleen. The spleen. Uh, <laughs> so I figured you were going to go. <laughs> you don't want to be in Pee Wee Herman's head. I do not want to be in Pee Wee Herman's head uh, as the spleen. Uh, constant gas, constant smelling it. Uh, Lou, Some of us live that way. So Dave, well, back I mean, off. I, well, I grew up with Ryan, so I should be used whoa, to it. Whoa, whoa. But, <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't I don't want to be in that brain. Uh, there's there's too many things I don't want to see in there. Uh, it smells. The smells. All the smell. Awesome. But yeah, I don't want to be in the spleen's brain. That's a good good answer. Okay. <laughs> all right Katrin. um I, I was gonna probably go with a more obvious uh with with batman oh. um, i don't think i'd want to be in it. i know i'm sorry uh, no no um, that's what i was gonna say <laughs> i know i, I know <laughs> i figured you were oh, I was, another one <laughs> I, I thought it was gonna be one of those where we say okay i'll uh, everybody at three say who they were gonna say and we'd all say batman you know but he just uh he's so troubled <laughs> yeah and, and uh depressed and and uh he talks like this all the time. And I was like, dude, stop, you know, it's just talk normal <laughs> just for a little bit, you know? Yeah. And you'd, but, be, uh, you'd be, you'd be stuck in Ben Affleck's head sometimes too. And that would just, uh... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It depends on who's, who's Batman. which Batman, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah that's George Clooney might not be that bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not, not the worst yeah. Batman, but maybe not the worst Batman to be in the head with. Right. Um, <laughs> He's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, the old, the earlier ones, that, you know, Al Kilmer and um, yeah. what's his name? Adam, uh, Adam West could be fun. Adam West, yeah. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that one would be trippy. That, that would, would be weird. Fun. What's that this one? guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're dancing the Batusi. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Any other so reasons, you have Katrin? Something else? Oh, no, I just, yeah, it just uh, be troubled. I mean, it kind of be exciting because he gets to do all these cool things and these do cool vehicles and, and have all these neat tools and live in a bat cave. But, um, but yeah, I just, I think it, he would just get on my nerves cause he's always, you know, kind of whiny and, um, he doesn't really have superpowers. So yeah, if you took control of him at some point, you'd probably die. Uh, yeah. God, whatever he was doing. <laughs> 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 oh, so now I have to pick somebody else. Oh, mm-hmm. <sighs> sorry. Uh, no, no. If you want me to. <laughs> okay, so take it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to. I've got two that I'm trying to narrow it down. I could tell you both. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Go ahead. Either Robin because. Uh, it's not super easy. Because you would have to, you'd have to listen to Batman all the time. <laughs> or uh, I get a Bruce Wayne, it's yeah. or mine. Just show yeah, I get, it, I get it. Or uh, uh, maybe Aquaman because it's like, hey, what are you gonna do today? Oh, I'm gonna talk to some fish. Go okay, well, this is fun. Oh, getting to hang out, getting to hang out with dolphins. I guess. Oh, yeah. in the, 
But the then you'd, crew, like, like, you'd have to listen to everybody like, make fun of you all the time. Emo. Oh, you're Aquaman. Oh. You're just like, <laughs> I get it, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, Jason Momoa was Aquaman, though. I don't know if Matt is going to be making fun of him to his face. Yeah, uh, he, may, he may change it. Um. <laughs> well, I've, I've got one. So what about Daredevil? What what would that be like? Yeah, that would be kind of depressing. Yeah, be yeah, it's like it's just uh, dark all the time, or what? How does that work? Yeah, you would. Oh, yeah, man, not even really see anything. I guess you'd feel a lot of things, but you would. <laughs> what was see that? <laughs> what the heck was <laughs> that? <laughs> what is? That's true. Oh, uh, there's a bunch of red like things coming at me. And <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, maybe Hawkman too, because isn't like Hawkman and Hawk Girl like it's just like a depressing uh, thing because they're both like dying all the time and yeah, they're constantly dying and being reborn and yeah, that might... having to find each other again and yeah, so maybe that dying time. again. Yeah, that can be annoying. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of superheroes <laughs> we don't want to touch. We don't want to be in their heads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll continue on with the superhero theme because our other question from um, Gary Street, our father. Gary? Gary Street, yes, our father, who we, uh, not Catron's father that we know nope. of. Nope. Yeah. No. Uh, so far. <laughs> yes, so far. So far. Uh, <laughs> I think there's an adoption process that's taking place. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's, what, Catron's adopting our father? or? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? No, he's, he's going to be our our <laughs> grandfather. Oh, I'm my own grandpa. Have you have you all heard that song? Yeah. I'm my own grandpa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, we just we just recorded um, an episode that's going to be coming out later with our father about his books, and it's going to be sort of a special summer of geek thing that will be coming out soon. Uh, so, so look for that. But he asked a question. He says, "Which Great. comic book character?" first caught your attention and why Ooh. I, I said this hard. earlier when we were kind of discussing the, the pre-show um, uh, Spider-Man was mine because that was the first that maybe only comic book I ever had I, I never really, really had comic books that I can remember but um, I, <laughs> I remember keeping it in uh, uh, this other book because I wanted to keep it flat and make sure it was in mint condition or whatever, but it was, uh, I think it was like a Spider-Man and Venom or something like that, but, um, or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, I always liked Spider-Man. Um, and then Superman as well. Cause, uh, I had a Superman belt and I only ate Superman peanut butter. And then when we stopped buying it, I stopped eating peanut butter and I hate peanut butter today. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so Superman <laughs> and, and Spider-Man, I guess if I had to, yeah, I can't just pick one. Sorry. What about you, Chris? Okay. Uh, well, my my pick was my well, my first thought when I heard the question, but then you made fun of him. Um, <laughs> Who was was Robin? Oh no, no, no I wasn't making fun of Robin. Uh, I was making fun of him having to listen to Batman all the time. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, poor kid. Poor kid had a lot to no, put up with. <laughs> But I mean, like it was, it was Batman comics and stuff, and like the the Super Friends and all that. But I I kind of steered more towards Robin because like he was a boy wonder and I was a kid, and like getting to hang out with Batman and stuff would be cool. And I never quite thought of myself as like the the main superhero person. I always saw myself kind of as a sidekick and stuff. And I thought I always thought that would be fun to be the sidekick. And and growing up, like when we play like. Like Ryan would be Batman, and I would get to be Robin, oh. and I was good at that. I was happy being Robin. <laughs> we even had our mom even made uh, made costumes for us for Halloween, uh, as after the the Michael Keaton Batman movie, and you had the Batman Michael Keaton mask, yep. and you were Batman, and she made me the Robin costume. Uh, it wasn't as tight as tights, which was great. Um, <laughs> didn't want the tight tights, uh, but it was it was good. Not and uh, I always liked uh, the third Robin, Tim Drake, a lot too. So I'd have to go with Robin. Yeah, I think I still have the Michael Keaton, Keaton Batman mask somewhere. I'm sure it's sure. worth. Thanks. I'm sure it's worth a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I went a little off course again uh, with my thoughts. I was thinking back, and uh, one of the first ones I can remember. Uh, I guess you would still call him a, a hero. I mean, a superhero. I mean, I don't know. 
but he's a comic book hero yeah so yeah that it fits um or comic book character dick tracy uh, Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. Oh, okay. I remember Dick Tracy from long ago. I don't know if it was the first one, but it always sticks out because I always thought Dick Tracy was really cool. I mean, he was a, you know, sort of a private eye. He had the cool watch that you could talk into before anybody thought that would, you know, actually be a thing um, with Apple <laughs> watches or whatever. Uh, but he had the cool watch. You know, he had the cool car. Um, he wore the yellow like trench coat with the yellow hat and. Um, mm -hmm. and then the villains were just like all just like cool because you had like flat top who basically his head was like flat and then you had like it was flat yeah it was flat <laughs> all these you know, <laughs> you know these gangster like guys that he would battle and uh, I always thought it was cool sort of that you know that era mm -hmm. of private eyes and and um, mystery mm -hmm. and, and adventure and action so that was my uh, that probably be my pick as one of the first comic book characters to really stick out we even had like other toys they came out with toys because they came out the movie and then they came out yeah. with toys and but i re even mm -hmm. remember reading like the the comic strips of dick tracy uh before yeah. that because you were born in the 1920s yeah <laughs> uh. <laughs> well you know Sweet. back when back when we were kids not so much anymore like kids today would be like what are you talking about but like in saturday morning paper you had the whole section of comic strips and uh, oh yeah yeah so you had the ones that were black and white and the ones that were in color and and uh it was like in the sunday papers that you know it, mm -hmm. uh but i always loved like when the paper yeah, the sunday out, papers were all color yeah, yeah i loved getting the the comic book section of the paper <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> you're making fun of my Who, me yeah no yeah. Anyways. No, no, it was a weird, uh, audio can, thing. So, oh, uh, we can't make fun of you, right? No, it's okay. I mean, but you would, you know, be excited for the, you know, I guess it was a yeah. Sunday paper, right? Yeah, those With, Sunday comics. Yeah, the yeah. Sunday, paper. Sunday comics. It was, all, it was all colored in the Sunday paper. Yeah, and, yep. like it was there. There was bigger. Uh, yeah, because you had Saturday uh, morning yeah. co cartoons and then the Sunday comic strips in the paper, and so I remember yes. the, the the Dick Tracy comic strip, and of course you had Garfield and. Uh, Calvin and Hobbes, Calvin of course. Hobbes, Sarge. Charlie and the Brown. far side. Yeah, all those. Yeah. Then everybody's yeah. favorite family circle. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Yeah. Dennis the Menace. I know I know I know the is it the grandson? I think it's I think he's a grandson. Yeah, I know a good grandson of the uh the writer of that comic strip. <laughs> family circle? Yeah, family circle. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's a, he's an animator. He's oh. an animator. He's a good oh, animator. Cool. He's great. He's a great guy too. But yeah, it's it's, it's pretty cool. And he's a great. <laughs> Kids are just miss, missing out, missing out on so much. Comic they strips, are. Saturday morning cartoons, newspapers. Yeah, like now everybody just <laughs> wants to sleep in on Saturday. But I remember yeah. getting up on Saturday mornings, get your cereal, watch your cartoons, and that was hmm. it. Yeah, I threw up. One I was time. doing that until, until <laughs> I figured out the VHS. Yeah. I was getting up until I figured out how to record on the VHS, and then I just set that to record in the morning. I slept Boom. in and then watched them later. No. <laughs> I got techie. <laughs> yeah. We, um, so I was at, we were at my grandparents' house, and I, I, I think because it was – my grandparents had the floor model TV. We had the ones on a stand. It wasn't a floor model. But I remember sitting in front of it eating the uh, Smurfs cereal uh the multicolored one not just blue or whatever it's blue and red right the, and smurf uh, berries but yeah smurf berries thank you and um and then throwing up um uh, while i'm watching cartoons <laughs> that <laughs> lovely blue and red uh uh cereal <laughs> so <laughs> and then eating more <laughs> and then eating, no. <laughs> nah, but yeah yeah those that saturday mornings yeah that and, and uh what is it there was wrestling on in the mornings, Saturday mornings as well. Um, yeah, yep. in the morning. God, what was that? And then there were. Uh, what? There was a Saturday was main WWF. Saturday main event. I don't yeah. know if, if that was it. That or was not. at night, but there yeah. was a morning one as well. Sometimes I don't know if it's yeah. all the time. But yeah, Saturday night main event was the, was awesome. But yeah. Um, yeah, like after the cartoons ended, the yeah. wrestling yeah. came and on. Of course, Pee Wee Herman, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh yeah, uh, was, yes. yeah. Well, you can watch kids. You can all the kids listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kids out there. Yeah, you can you can watch oh, yeah, Pee Wee's Playhouse on Netflix, I believe. 
That's right. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. I remember the 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 WWF cartoon. You remember that one? Yeah, that yeah. was great. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a great cartoon! Hulk Hogan, Iron <laughs> Sheik, Junkyard Dog. Oh, Hillb- yeah. Hillbilly Jim, uh, the Hillbilly guy, uh, Hillbilly the, Jim, yeah. um, the guy with the rubber bands. He Lou Albano, oh, Captain yeah. Lou Albano. He had he was one of the main characters. On yep. Ultimate Warrior was in that. No problem. Uh, I'm gonna have to look and see. That's- I, I saw an Ultimate Warrior action figure the other day at Target. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" They had all these, you know, classic ones. Yeah, man, I gotta get that. That was my favorite there's, wrestler. If we want to talk favorite com- wrestlers, we can talk. Oh, there's a comic book I think with the Ultimate Warrior where he fights Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> As one it, does. It's the, the weirdest thing like, like you I ever see. see. It's like I, it's I so think he weird. Wrote it. I think it was. It's really weird. I he, and then I saw a documentary on him when he was talking about all that. He's like, "Yeah, uh, supposedly I died or whatever." But um, uh, it was interesting because that was my favorite wrestler. Mine was my super good. Sting. I should have picked that as super. Yeah, Sting was ours. My favorite wrestler still is the Stinger. Back in his WCW days, when he had the uh, blonde flat top, bleach blonde flat top, oh, yeah. the face paint. Mm-hmm. Similar to the Ultimate Warrior yeah. face paint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Or the yeah. Dingo Warrior. <laughs> he, he copied him. <laughs> right. No, I think that was around the same time. It was, yeah. Yeah, no, it was. It was. Yeah. Uh, Sting said that he, he always wore face paint because uh, when he was a kid, um, people would make fun of his face. And, like, so he did it sort of like as a. Uh, to overcome that, I believe I could be wrong, but I think that was it. Overcomers, yeah, all right, interesting. Uh, so yeah, so we've had favorite superheroes, uh, <laughs> who we want to be inside their heads. Our favorite, re- well, Chris, you didn't say your favorite wrestler. Oh, well, yeah, who's your favorite wrestler? Chris? Oh, my favorite wrestler. Oh, uh... my, my brother, Ryan you know. Street. <laughs> Ryan Street is the greatest. Uh, I actually, you know, from the cartoon, I actually like Junkyard Dog a lot. Oh, right. <laughs> How can you not like Junkyard I had, Dog? Because I, I, I had the toy. I had the, it was uh, a, like the hard rubber yes. toy. Mm-hmm. I had those. That, like yeah. you could really hurt somebody with. Oh, yeah. Like you're wrestling and they knock their, their teeth out. Uh, but I had him and I actually liked him. I thought uh, he was cool. We had him <laughs> and we had um, Hillbilly Jim. We had his, his, um, yeah. Big yeah. action so figure. Those movable. things are cool. Those, those were the best wrestling action figures because you could really do some cool moves with them. And uh, they had, I had Hulk Hogan, uh, Mister Wonderful. They do some uh, damage. We had we had this like guy with a beret and he had his hand up like he was saluting or something. And then, <laughs> um, and then King Kong Bundy. Um, oh yeah. And that was pretty awesome. He was that uh, was pretty cool. It's cool. I have the yeah, uh, those the, awesome. uh, those. the uh, WWE like app or whatever it is. And you can watch all those old matches on it. And it's just uh, so cool to go all the way back yeah. to much WWF days. And then they have, since they bought this WCW, they have all the WCW uh, oh, yes. matches on there too. So I'll, I'll go back uh, and watch like Halloween Havoc or something. Or uh, it was like, great. It was, just like, <laughs> it was like so cheesy when you watch it now, but it's just like, so oh, awesome. Yeah. So to great. Watch. But yeah. You... And then Jennifer's like, hey, get in here. We're... Yeah. I'm like, I'm watching Howling <laughs> Havoc from 1998. Give me a break. <laughs> we got to hang some curtains. Three hours in here. later. Yeah. <laughs> they have a, there's my favorite match was, um, it was always my favorite match growing up. It was a WCW match, and I found it uh, a while back on the app. It was, um, they took two rings and they put them together, and then they put a cage around both rings. And then there was two teams of like, I don't know. There was like five or six people people per team, and they would get in there and just like all battle each other inside this cage. And the one that I remember the most was the um, it was Larry Zabisco. Um, <laughs> it was he was on a team. It was like Paulie Dangerously's man yeah. or whatever. And uh, he uh, they had somebody. I don't know if it was Barry Windham or, or I know he was in it and. and um, Dusty Rhodes was in it, who later became Gold Dust, and Sting was in it. And but anyways, they had one of the good guys down, and they had undone part of the ring rope, and it was this big metal bar, and he was gonna, Larry was gonna hit him, and uh, the dude ducked, and he hit one of his partners, and then got pinned, and it was just like the greatest match inside this 
double <laughs> ring with and they like put somebody in between the ring they stuck their heads down it in it and they like just like bounce them up and down with his head stuck in between the rings <laughs> oh, old old wrestling's Killed the him. best yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, Larry Zabisco just sounds like a cracker from Nabisco <laughs> or something. No, yeah. Larry Zabisco, he was like he was cool. <laughs> that was back yeah. when that was back when wrestlers like uh, just take a little cheese, smear like, it on a Larry Zabisco, and just eat it. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> little, he, would, little, 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 little he might take little, offense little, little to that. Sausages, like there was like oh, oh, I love. Yeah. Oh, there was like bad. There was some bad men back then. Like they were just like. You know, it wasn't like all oiled up and stuff. It was just like, hey, this guy is like balding and like has a big hairy chest and is like, I'm just going to go out there and, you know, beat somebody down. And that's what they did. And it was cool. <laughs> Arn Anderson, he was another one. He's great. Double A. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double Anyways. A. Four horsemen. Oh yeah, four horsemen. Anyways, we'll get off of wrestling. I can talk about that all night long. <laughs> have a wrestling episode. That'll be fun. I know. We need to do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that while Chris. Yeah, is... yeah. You do that while I'm gone. <laughs> hey, if anybody wants to be on a wrestling episode with us, let us know and we'll get you on. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah, well, you can. You can take my place that week. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think I have much to offer to that conversation. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, uh, so did you hear the? We're gonna get to something else in a minute, but just really quick, I, I heard some rumors going around about the Han Solo director change that we talked about last week. Uh, the two uh, Lord and what's his name that got fired uh, uh, from Han yeah, Solo. Yeah, the rumor is that the one of the reasons that they were let go or fired or whatever was that they were trying to make the Han Solo movie into a um, Jim Carrey esque type. Um, uh, what's the name of the movie? Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura Ace movie. Ventura. Which I just don't understand. Makes, don't understand. That makes sense to me. Totally makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally see it. I I, I mean, Chewie. Chewy talking out of his butt would be priceless. <laughs> it sounds the same though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Much. Uh, the, 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 they'd be after someone who stole a dolphin, uh, <laughs> like a space dolphin, be a space dolphin, the space dolphin for the for the Naboo uh, dolphins. Yeah. Team. <laughs> so it's probably uh, good that they were oh, let go, goodness. but and I heard that the main actor <laughs> had to get an acting coach on set. And, he, uh, I did. I saw that too. I was kind of worried when they picked him because I've seen him in a couple movies, uh, Beautiful Creatures, especially. He's in that. He plays a southern guy with the worst southern accent you've ever heard, uh, and it's it's just horrible. So, Hi, how you doing there, folks? How you doing? Do, 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 do. I'm just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah i don't know i was yeah we'll see how he does <laughs> so something we something new we want to try for um maybe next next time right next time yeah next time. we're gonna yeah. uh we want to show you know we do movie reviews but a lot of the times uh we don't want to spoil new movies for people and a lot of times because of our busy lives the three of us cannot get to a movie that's that's out in the theaters right now. I know that some of us have seen Cars 3, some of us have seen Wonder Woman, but not all of us, and it sort of makes it hard because we don't want to spoil it for the other person. So it makes it hard to review. So yes. what we're going to try to do, because you know we are children of the 80s, 90s, um, we want to do some retro movies. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a segment, we're going to, we're going to try it out, a retro movie segment, where basically we're going to pick a movie, we're gonna gonna watch that movie beforehand, and then we're just gonna uh, give it our review, discuss what we think about it, discuss what was good, what was what held up, what didn't hold up over the years, and we thought uh, we would love for our listeners to uh, sort of play along with this and give us their opinion. So uh, we're going to, we're gonna try to pick a movie that's on Netflix or Amazon Prime or something that is available for people to watch, so you don't have to go out and rent it. So we thought, you know. Uh, July is coming up, and then everybody likes to have Christmas in July, right? Yes, <laughs> of course. So we're going to pick a classic Christmas movie. 
and uh, <laughs> we decided to go with the movie Gremlins, uh, the first yeah. one, Gremlins one. Yes. Uh, it's on Netflix. It may be on Amazon Prime. I'm not sure, uh, but it's definitely on Netflix. So we're gonna watch it, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, this this retro classic movie, uh, Gremlins. Uh, here, here next time on I Am Geek. So that sounds that sounds fun, right? It'll be fun. Uh, I'm asking the listeners like they can respond yeah. back right now. That sounds fun. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> no, no. Because we really want this show to be uh, about uh, you know our listeners and we, and we want our listeners to be involved. Oh, we're all talking at the same time, but um... <laughs> no, no, no we, we we were. We weren't getting you. Oh, oh, <laughs> I was... oh I'm making the same thing. <laughs> We're working on ways to uh, get this where it won't be the Wi-Fi issues. So hopefully that will be coming soon too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you got ideas, let us know. But we think we may have just, a... we just need to fly to, or I need to fly to Texas every went Thursday, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Would that work? Yeah. And so yeah, if I'll somebody has a private like, jet, they the could just uh, send it to us. Yeah. Uh, no, we're figuring out ways. We'll get it worked on. Uh, but I thought we could talk about something else that Katrin brought up earlier. You're going to a very dear, special place um, to, in my heart. Uh, you're, you're going somewhere um, next week? When is it? Yeah, we're going next week. Uh, going to uh, to Knoxville, Tennessee. <gasps> Oh, that's not where I thought you were going. Yeah, World's Fair. <laughs> uh, it's close. What's going on here? Um, no, uh, so I have, I have a, uh, uh, my wife said, hey, I'm going to do this trip with my sister and mom. And so you're, it's you and Charlie. So, so I said, okay, we're going to go do something. And, um, we're actually they're going to Knoxville as well, so, and and I was like, we need to go and uh, we can go to Dollywood. Um, so yeah, we're going we're going to go to Dollywood Thursday, and uh, hope, hopefully the crowds won't be crazy. Hopefully it doesn't rain, but um, we're excited. Now, we, Dolly, we Dollywood is mountains. a Dollywood is a theme park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, uh, which is in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Yeah, the other uh, DW. The what? Yeah. It's the other, yeah, the other DW. Oh, the other DW. Yeah, Darkwing Duck. Some people call, yeah, some people call it the Disney World of the South, which is sort of funny because <laughs> technically Disney World is in the South, even though they're not. I mean, really. Yeah, they're actually lower than. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I will say it's. I mean, people make fun of it when we're there. It's like, oh, Dollywood. We, we go there every day because we used to go all the time, being living out there. You know. Um, and it was kind of cheesy, but it's it's really well themed and well kept and nice. I've been to uh, Six Flags in St. Louis, and I was, uh, I was so disappointed with that place. It was uh, <laughs> kind of run down, and um, there just wasn't much going on, and it was it was bad. We didn't even stay for probably an hour or two. It was it was so bad. But um, of course, we don't do roller coasters that much. But but still, it was it was very disappointing. But anyway, Dollywood is is uh is awesome and uh they've got a ton of roller coasters now and uh so i i, I sat down with my son and pulled up youtube and i said let's look at some of the the rides <laughs> and we picked out all the rides that we won't ride uh that we're not gonna ride <laughs> not we we're like oh this not doing yep nope. so we, we watched a couple and it was like oh this is this is gonna be good oh 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 no 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 not doing that one you know because <laughs> they've got they've got some serious rides now that go straight down you know Go do corkscrews and upside down and both, and then one that goes backwards for a while and then goes back forward again, and it, it shoots off really fast, you know, when you start. Um, so they yeah, I was, I was looking online. Chase. Yeah, I was looking online. There's one called the Lightning Rod, and yeah, the the roller coaster. Cool. You're you're sideways, like it's it's sideways, <laughs> like it's like that should be able to stay on that track. It's yeah, completely <laughs> sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They've, they've stepped it up. They've got quite a bit of uh, roller coasters, and uh, yeah, uh, they've, and they've got a non roller coaster rides too that are that are pretty good too. They have a, yeah. an elephant ride like Dumbo, but it's not called Dumbo. Uh, <laughs> but it, they're, they're elephants that go up in the air, and they also have a teacups that's uh, like the lemon twist or something Ooh. like that. But, yeah, and, and the and don't forget the Calico Falls Schoolhouse. <laughs> <laughs> 
where you can go and see what school was like in the 1890s. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's sort of cool to see. Uh, I, I mean, I loved Dollywood all growing up, going to it. Uh, yeah, they. Oh, go, they also have real quick. I'm sorry, I'll let you tell your story. But no, they no. also have the uh, the uh, <laughs> Southern Gospel um, Hall of Fame or something like that. It's like yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, because it, that's that's a big part of their park is because they have these concerts all the time there. But I um, saw a video. Yeah. I think um, it was Adam the Woo on YouTube, and he was visiting the park, and he did a video from that southern gospel hall of fame and it was sort of creepy because they have like these animatronics like (laughs) quartets that are like singing um and stuff and he was just like what's going on that could be scary i i I, I love dollywood uh Mm -hmm. i remember going as a kid i remember going to the place before it was called dollywood which was silver dollar city um Mm -hmm. dollywood opened in 1986 uh, but before that, it was called Silver Dollar City, um, and that opened in. The, the, there's one in Branson uh, that's yeah. Silver Dollar City still, um, and it has some of the yeah. same rides, which is cool. Yeah, so that was 1977. When, but before that, I don't remember Silver Dollar City too much? Year or too young, yeah. yeah. I remember it. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was basically um, Dollywood, but sort of less. It was basically the same park, but they had less stuff there. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they still had like, uh, I think they still had like the blacksmith and, and all that stuff and maybe the magic shop and stuff like that. Um, before that it was called gold rush. And before that it was called gold rush junction. And before that it was called rebel railroad, which that was 1961. So, yeah, Wow. So it goes back to uh, 1961 and it's went over, you know, many different variations. It's funny that it goes from gold to silver. um, Yeah. To Dolly. Take a step down. (laughs) (laughs) The the penny whistler? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I remember Uh, like uh, going on the train there. They They have a train that go around and sort of like the train at Disney, but this one had like little stops where they would like uh, do stuff. Like, not, not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Used to a long time ago. Like people would like hijack yeah. the train and stuff. Yeah, uh, I started. I couldn't remember. Like, yeah, Dollywood had the people they hijacked the train because I, I had a friend from high school that he would do that during the summer. He would go and he would be one of the people that would hijack the train. Uh, they did that in yeah. Tweetsie Railroad, that was, which is in North Carolina too. Um, yeah, like more, they would do that more there, which we could talk about that place some other time because it was an interesting place. Uh, but then they also had the magic shop, uh, which was I always loved. They had the magician outside that would do magic tricks. Oh yeah, and they had a quarter. Oh, that, that's a great. Quarter that was glued down because it was at the train stop when people got off, <laughs> and they had a quarter glued on the ground, <laughs> and people would always try to pick it up, and it would squirt them in the face every time they picked it up, which was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, we we actually went a couple of years ago and. Um, Maybe last year, I don't know, whatever it was. And uh, I do remember waiting for the train, or we just got off of it. Or well, yeah, we were waiting for the train to take it, and we noticed that people coming off of it were getting heckled by the uh, the magic guy that's out. So he's still there. There's like oh, a guy cool. out there that does magic, but he's like yelling at him, like, "Hey, go over here!" And he like throws water at him or something. Like that. But, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's still my favorite trick. My favorite trick he would do uh, would be he would have a cup and he'd fill it with water. And he like take a sip of it or whatever, and then like and act like he's gonna spill it, like oh I'm gonna spill it, and then suddenly he just kind of like tosses the cup at the person, act like he's gonna spill water, but no water comes out. What? And it's because there was what they sold at the magic shop. There was yeah. this powder that you put yeah. in there, and when you pour the water into it, it would just solidify. And I thought uh, I always like that. That's amazing. The the one the one I remember. Is uh, with the uh, the coloring book, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with, uh, yeah. 
it had these little yeah. tabs in there where you could change it so, or flip through it a certain way so that it all blank pages, you know. And it was, yeah. Yeah, we got. Won't give away all the secrets. We we got the powder one time and, and did that at home. And then he also had yeah. a raccoon that was like this fake raccoon, <laughs> but he would like with the yeah. spring I in it. One of those. Yeah, we have one of those. It was yeah. like a spring in it. And he would make it look like it was actually moving and stuff, and then he would like throw it to people. That was a great time. <laughs> And one more, we, we bought uh, fake cigarettes at the store, oh, yeah. um, and you would, uh, well, you'd blow on them, and the 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 powder would come out of them like you were smoking I, or something. I bought <laughs> was, I bought I bought real cigarettes. At the store. <laughs> it used to be cool to smoke, right? Because back yeah, then, it was, that, it was, a, it was a thing to do. I mean, it, it, it was good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't good for, but it was still we cool to do. That. It's I'm not cool. <laughs> Go up through drugs. Don't smoke. Yeah. Yeah. I bought one there that had a little bulb on the end of it that you put in your hand and you could squirt people. Yeah. yeah so you yeah. pretend like you're smoking. Yeah. You know, oh, look at that 11 year old smoking. Oh, he squirted me. <laughs> it's water. It's water. It got me. I thought he was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, that place was like uh, fun. And then time. there was parts of it that, like terrified me as a child. There was a. a flooded mine ride that was basically in this yes. dark cave and you were in this boat and there was like a news report that came mm-hmm. out that uh, this lady got bit by a snake on the boat like a, a snake fell on the boat and bit her and then like I hate snakes and so I was like I don't want to ride that anymore because you know there's going to be a snake that falls on me during the ride and um, yes. then there's like this old there was a right away from me Didn't ride anymore. Uh, but they closed that down uh and there was a, another one that was actually there at Silver Dollar City that they kept called um, Blazing Fury, which was like a dark ride slash roller coaster. Mm-hmm. So you had like animatronics, like try, firefighters trying to save a town. And yeah. Then, yeah. It, then it would turn into a roller coaster and then you'd see more animatronics. And um, So that one, when I was a kid, I was like, I don't know about this because it's in the dark. You don't know what's going to happen. But then yeah. when you got older, I rode it and it was it was fun. And that. That was the ride I think that turned me off on uh, roller coasters. Oh, uh, <laughs> I uh, we got on that ride with my parents, and uh, they're like, "Oh yeah, it's this this ride." I don't know that they knew what it was, um, either, <laughs> or did because they? we got on it and and we're riding, and all of a sudden, all I remember, <laughs> and I just watched it th- this evening as well. I watched that, and it was different than I remember. But all I remember is you're riding along and it's like, oh, there's this fire. Oh, this is fun, you know? And then there's a train coming at you and you drop straight down uh, and plummet. And I was watching the video and there's actually three drops. I don't remember that because I probably blacked out or something <laughs> after the first one. But uh, I was going up as uh, I, I did not expect that. Of course, we didn't have YouTube back then. I, I've watched every Disney ride, you know, there is so I, I know what I'm getting into before I ride it, you know, I've got to know. And uh, especially because of that, I think. But, uh, but we couldn't do that then. So it was, they may not have known. I need to ask it. Mom, if you're listening, uh, please <laughs> comment uh, with on the uh, on the Facebook and uh, let us know if, if you if you guys knew about it or if it was some bad trick or if you just <laughs> were surprised with me. Because my mom doesn't like them either. So I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if she uh, she actually knew about it. But, uh, <laughs> no, we wanted, we wanted to freak but, uh, you out. You yeah. we're you're a oh, horrible can... child. We, we right. really wanted to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> we do that to our son, so I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys going to yeah. ride Blaze and Fury when you go? Uh, probably not. Oh, <laughs> come on. Probably uh, I don't know. I, we'll think about it. He continue I watched the tradition, the... put him on there, not telling him what it is. Yeah. Oh, no, we watched it. And then we watched uh, <laughs> I watched a video of this guy that got to go into the, the ride. He didn't ride it with the lights on. He got to walk through it. And they, they look over. They didn't go down the hills, of course, but they, they looked over the hills. And I was like, man, that's a lot steeper than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then they walked down some stairs and kind of – it was interesting. They actually have an homage to uh, – to flooded mine right as you start it's over to the right and you see this it used to be just kind of blocked off like a hole and now it's this flooded mine on there and you see water uh, reflection in the back i was like oh that's nice so do they still do they still have the river rapid like in the the big circular, river circular? Yeah. yeah 
Yeah. yeah. We would That's always ride that. Gets. Yeah. We did too. I love that. Um, I have another funny story about the other water ride, the log flume ride that they had. I don't remember what it's called, but um, not the, the not the slide winder. But yeah, the, we'll uh, get to that one in a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the, log, the, the log flume ride. I remember. I, I don't think it was the first yeah. time I rode it. I actually rode it a couple of times, but I still I, I don't like it. But I, I remember one time being at the top of that hill, and I look over and I was like, "There's some stairs over there. I can get off of this thing." And, you know, I, did, <laughs> I didn't get off, but uh, uh, we, we went down. And it was terrible. <laughs> but, uh, I really I almost jumped out of it because I was just like, oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> but, yeah, the river. Um, but yeah, the, the, river, the river, river rampage, rampage is awesome. Rampage. We'd always want to go on it we first always... thing as a kid, and our parents hated us for it because yeah. we just get them so soaking wet. wet and they'd be wet all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. we went when we uh, rode the Cali River Rapids at, at Animal Kingdom. We were so disappointed because you re- you really don't get wet on it, or at least we didn't. The times I've ridden it. And because uh, on on the river rampage, you get so wet oh, on that so, thing. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, <laughs> it was uh, so much fun, especially so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It doesn't help if you're <laughs> sitting next to like a, a bigger guy as well, <laughs> because it would always turn to, to that person, so they would go down first, and of course, it would go down deeper. <laughs> That's right. Or water would splash up. And yeah. yeah, me being a tiny little kid, I would just be sopping wet. Oh yeah, and we want to ride it multiple times, so it even got even wetter, and it was just yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. But I think my favorite ride there, because I haven't been in a long time, um, a long time. So I don't, I don't, I haven't been to all the cool roller coasters that they have there now. Uh, that is where I got engaged, which was Aww. another story. We got engaged Aww. there. It was at Christmas time, so that it was all decorated Damn. for the parks, and then we we were going to go she didn't know but we were going to go to the uh they have an old church building there yeah and we were going to mm-hmm. go i was going to do it in there and um i remember because um i was going to get i was going to do the traditional thing get down on one knee propose ask her to marry me so i started to get down on the knee and she's like oh yeah let's sit down and she sat down on, <laughs> on, on the knee and i was like oh okay well, i guess we'll do it this way <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a general thing to do. Yeah. And, yeah. It's like, oh, let's sit down. Let's, let's, let's take a rest. <laughs> <laughs> so that place holds a special place in my heart. But my favorite ride, because I haven't been on all the cool roller coasters they have now, was the Mountain Slidewinder. Um, if you really think about it, probably the most dangerous, uh, dangerous ride there. Because <laughs> basically you're on the yeah. same that looks like a foam log. And your bobsled. Mm-hmm. bobsled thing, and you're going down this big slide, like the huge <laughs> slide in, on the mountain that's like a water slide, but you're in this bobsled mm-hmm. thing. So it's not like a log flume, but sort of. And you go up, mm-hmm. it, like when you go around corners, it'll go up on the top of like uh, the side of it. And they like weigh you beforehand. So you have to be weighed to get on it because if you're over <laughs> a certain weight or something, yeah. you can like flip off the side yeah. or something. Sorry, if fatty. Yeah. Get off the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So they weigh the groups to make sure they're a certain weight. and But it was like, you know, when you think about it, I mean, there's no seat belts. They're like, hold on to the handles. <laughs> mm-hmm. You got to hold. And I remember just holding on for dear life. Like, this is ridiculous. Uh, but it was so fun. You just like whip down the yeah. mountain on that, that uh, bobsled foam log thing. Uh, but especially yeah. after climbing all the way up the mountain to get there, mm-hmm. up the pathways. <laughs> and then you slide down real fast and. Oh, so much fun though! I could, I want to go on that now. Can yeah. I just, can I just go there now? I think I remember our parents. It was like it, it, they probably switch it up, but yeah, when we go on that, because I was a small stick of a child, um, like, like I weighed uh, nothing, um, like basically crushing me between their legs, <laughs> hold me in there. <laughs> we were going down because <laughs> would... they were feared that I would just fly. out. I mean, I yeah. guess it's the same where you just hold on to the yeah. handles now, right? Yeah, if you go to the Dollywood looked- webpage and look at the rides, yeah. it shows them going up on the side of that one part of that slide where, and they're just, yeah, this- just sitting there holding on. Yeah. yeah. This family's dead. This family's yeah. so dead. I don't think oh. they survived this. Oh, I see the they, they got one picture opportunity, and that was it. And the River <laughs> Rampage picture is pretty funny, too. I don't know if you so saw the, it. But- so the picture is a family of four, a boy, a girl, and then mom and dad. 
And the girl looks got this big smile on her face as they're up on top of this hill, and the boy just looks terrified. <laughs> and he looks like he's just he's about on, to he's fall in the front. Out. Yeah, <laughs> he's in the front. He's going down first. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. Fun times, but yeah, there's all kinds of attractions there. I highly recommend it if you're in the Pigeon Forge area. Check it out. They even have a water park now, which I've never seen. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been to that. Yeah, so a lot of stuff. No. They do. Do they uh, still... Pigeon Forge has a ton of stuff too? But yeah. what, is it, what were we gonna say? They still have the weird '50s area of the park. Yes, they have a show. Uh, I remember um, it's like some '50s show, but I, so I think they still have all that. But they, I think there was a ride that they had. That had that was based on the fifties or whatever, but I don't think it's there. It's it's that well, there was the um, the roller coaster I was talking about that was sideways. Oh was, yeah, that's uh, right, lightning rod. Nineteen fifties, yeah, yeah, oh, lightning rod. That's right. Nineteen okay. fifties era hot rod. You're in a hot that's rod. That's a new one. Yeah, that's a real new one. I don't. I've never been in a hot rod that drives sideways, but apparently that's what they did in the fifties. Jukebox <laughs> action. There we go. Jukebox <laughs> action. That's it. Yeah. They say it's pretty cool too. You can get into her uh, um, uh, bus, the like tour bus, and do a tour through that. And uh, oh, cool. of course, her childhood home and all that kind of stuff. We but, need to all go there. We just need to have an do. I am geek Dollywood yeah. experience. That's right. Oh, that Here we so are. Much fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, some... planning our visit now. Yes, you can get a season pass there for uh, um, for uh, a kid for a hundred dollars. And then adults, it's like 150 or something, and that's so it's basically two visits, and you pay for it. That's cool. Yeah. So if you go a lot, I mean, that's the thing is that we 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 go maybe once a year or once every other year, but if you were to go at least twice, then you pay for it. But if you go three times, it's like hey, it's that third time's free. And don't they have Always, like a Dollywood um, hotel on property now? Too? They do. Yeah, they do. I, we actually have a mutual friend. Um, the Sheltons, uh, they were there, I think, this week. Um, yeah. They they recently adopted, and uh, they were all at Dollywood and, and were sharing some of their fun. They, there's a show called The Gazillion Bubbles or something like that. They have this, it's this big bubble oh, yeah. show and all this cool stuff, and um, mm-hmm. I'm interested to see that. But mm. uh, The water park looks pretty cool. I just yeah. look at pictures of that. There's one called The Swift Water Run, which basically just, drops you out into a giant bowl uh, and you just go around and around and around and around hmm. until I guess you throw up and then throw <laughs> down a hole. Uh, yeah. So it's a toilet. <laughs> yeah. It's a toilet. It's a giant toilet. Um, yeah. It goes the right way so you know you're not in Australia. Uh, oh, yeah, looks good. We got to plan this. <laughs> got to go to Dollywood. <laughs> The hotel is not cheap. It's it's on par with uh, some Disney World. Um, oh, uh, we we would always stay at the Best Western. That's like down the road. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's the way that we're. Yeah, like I said, we're staying in Knoxville, and it's so it's a good you know maybe what forty five minutes or so from there, or maybe an hour to get there. Uh, so maybe I don't know, maybe not that long, but um, so it, yeah, it was too expensive to stay in Pigeon Forge even. Yeah. <laughs> They they have all kinds of stuff though in Pigeon Forge now. There's there's a new thing that's uh, around in, in mountain areas, uh, but in, uh, I think this may be in Gatlinburg, but it's uh, the Alpine roller coaster. Have you seen these things? Oh yeah. It's yeah. like you're it's, you're you're sitting by yourself in this little bobsled type thing, but you and you're on a roller coaster uh, that you can can kind of control the speed. So you have like a brake and but you take these turns and it looks. Interesting. I've had I've got a friend that's done it a couple a few times. They said it's really fun. Now, would you do that, Catherine? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> since <laughs> I can control moving through my it. biggest thing. I think <laughs> I think my my biggest thing is I I'm a I'm, I don't think of myself as a control freak, but I am in some ways, especially when it comes to riding uh, rides. It's, if I can control it, then or if I feel secure in it, then then I'm I'm all right. I'm a little better, anyways. But it really really speaks to why you want to be in, inside the Hulk's head again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all comes back. To, it's Let complete. Go. Just letting it go. A big and... circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because to me, those things, like, it would be fun and I would do it, but it looks sort of terrifying because you're on this little cart and yeah. you're over top of a mountain. Like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But there's, like, yeah, there's moonshine. Some, yeah, moonshine everywhere. You can get moonshine yeah, samples moonshine. everywhere. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and Apple Gatlinburg, Pop. Gatlinburg, like the strip, and Gatlinburg nice. is like the, the. Uh, uh, oh, that was so much fun! Las Vegas strip, strip of the South, or something. It's, oh man, it's cool. There's all kinds Bro. of stuff there. Bro, Bro, strip. Rodeo Drive, it's like Rodeo Drive, but it's actually called Rodeo Drive. Rodeo, <laughs> rodeo Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, rodeo drive! Come on every, in. Oh. Everyone's favorite store, uh, of course, is the China Bazaar, right? Um, Do y'all remember the China? Oh, Bazaar? in Gatlinburg, yeah, yeah, yeah. That place is a little creepy. Like it's like, oh, something's going on behind the scenes here. <laughs> <laughs> we, we bought, we bought um, all kinds of stuff there, man. Yeah, exactly. We bought uh, the <laughs> the Chinese throwing stars, but they were rubber, like practice oh, yeah. ones. Um, we thought it was so cool, but man, I loved going in there and looking yeah. at all the knives and stuff. I bought nun- nunchucks there. <laughs> they were like wooden with like guess, the the chain was a rope so but they still yeah. worked i guess the practice uh, one yeah. yeah i got i got a i got a brass knuckle that's shaped like uh, the yes. batman symbol and 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 on and the wings on the side are blades Ooh. <laughs> nice. they could punch him in the face with the batman cut. symbol and then cut them with cut the blades him. on the side <laughs> yeah. at pigeon Ooh, forge i guess brutal. it's still there in pigeon forge they have uh, okay. the world's largest Knife store, like the Smoky Mountain knife, sure. knife Factory. It was I'm just sure like do, yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. There's just knives everywhere. And oh, yeah. It's cool to look at. Uh, but yeah, a lot of cool places to eat around there. There's like the Apple Barn, which is like fantastic. It's like just mm-hmm. really good food. A lot, of, a lot of good Southern food. The Dixie Stampede. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's uh, oh, yeah. a great yeah, thing Dixie. that Dollywood, Dolly also owns. But it, man, that's so much fun. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We had a picture. We went there as a kids, and we had a picture of. I think it was Chris and I with this like saloon girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there were two saloon the old girls. Two photos, saloon girls and us with yeah. them holding Dixie Stampede nice. cups or something. Um, so that was fun. Two little uh, kids and <laughs> saloon girls. <laughs> Did, yeah. Brian, was it you and I that went with? Um, uh, what was her name? Just escaped me. Um, like, anyway, somebody we went to college with it was from Gatlinburg, uh, Julie, and uh, she took us around to all these different things, and we got in for free. Did you, did you go? It was some, me and somebody else. I thought because we went know. into like the, we went to the haunted one of the haunted vent, adventure. Oh yeah, things, I, like, I remember like, going there. And then and, uh, like all the Ripley things that you would never pay for to go to, we got in for free. She just like signed her name on this thing, and we got right in. Uh, and it oh, was wow. the most amazing thing, and. Uh, we uh, the, yeah, that haunted adventure thing was crazy because there's one part where you think there's bees all over you, and then there's another part where the room is uh, this tunnel is like spinning, yeah. and you think you're walking on the side of the walls. So it's it's the craziest. Yeah, I remember that because you go in yeah. one room and it just goes all black. I think yeah, it's just completely yeah. dark and oh my gosh, yeah, that was crazy. And you but, rode this uh, weird elevator up to the the top with this weird creepy guy controlling it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, shut your mouth. Yes, yes, yes. I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> High five, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he was this guy in, a, in a, a straight jacket. That's what it was. And he was singing happy birthday. So we started singing with him. And he's, he was like, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, this Pigeon Forge Gallenberg trip has to happen now. <laughs> We've got yeah. it's not, I swear it's not going to be as fun as it used to be. Because <laughs> yeah. there's You're too many like, people. Wow, really? <laughs> there's way too many people. It's not free anymore. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, it costs a arm and a leg. Yeah. yeah. No. We can but it make sounds it, good. We can make it fun, though. We, we could make it fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wintertime, and we're stuck in there. And yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, cool. Well, we're, we've been, I mean, it's an hour and three minutes we've been talking and I, we could probably talk about Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and Dollywood forever. Cause there's so much fun stuff there and so many fun, uh, memories. Um, uh, but you know, I guess unless you guys have something else, we should probably wrap it up for episode well, we can, 13. Can put a bow on it. Wrap up, wrap up 13. Well, let's wrap it up. Well, this has been I Am Geek, and happy birthday. Shut your mouth. We'll see you next time. (laughs) (laughs) See you, everybody. (laughs)